The BMW 3 Series. It is BMW's best seller and it's been around since 1975. Now there's currently seven generations uh, that's out there or that's been launched and we will be looking at all of them. So why four? Because the first generation which ran from 1975 to 1983 was called the E21 and we never got it here in South Africa. Instead we've got the E30, that was the first BMW 3 Series we've got here in South Africa and it's the second gen. Now this is a cult classic and it's also known as the Kusheshe or Boxy for some reason because of the boxy design and it's also a rear wheel drive car and it's very 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 much fun to drive I mean these cars are known for spinning this model remains uh, one of the all time favorites I mean I drove a 325i cabriolet and it's just an amazing drive I mean the, the sort of raw feel and power that you get out of the car there's nothing quite like it, that six cylinder sweet sound, it's actually amazing. I mean, if you want to check out more uh, E30 BMW goodness, you can check out Level 1 Photography on Facebook. They've got some nice E30s right there. Favorite model in the E30 range? Uh, it's quite a difficult one. I'd have to say the 325 IS. We didn't get the M3 here, so it'd have to be that one. I've driven in it. It's quite a beast, but I have to say the 325i Cabrio, it's, it's really, it's, it's, it's something that's amazing. I mean, you can check out um, Cape Rides on Facebook to check out those pictures of that, that car. It's you know, something else. I don't know why I like it. It's just the roof. Uh, the roof came in three parts. So you could actually have the whole roof up, the whole roof down. Or you could have the back window up and then take the roof off. So that's actually mad. <laughs> Moving along to the early 90s and then we come across the E36, which was launched in 1992 and ran all the way up to 2000. Now, this was also known as the Dolphin. And this is where BMW sort of like polish their skills when it comes to car manufacturing um, in terms of technology and engineering and all of that sort of thing. There were nine models released in South Africa, um, eight of them were petrol and one diesel. Uh, it also came out in a hatchback and that's actually a weird thing to see. I don't know if you've ever seen one of them. They're not available locally but they were local in the number beer. It's just a strange car to see but the 3 Series Dolphin Coupe, it's that's a beautiful car, I mean, especially in that canary yellow, uh, that M3 yellow, it's beautiful. So the E36 is also one of the first cars that I experienced real speed in, and I mean it's not like sort of like you wait for a VTEC or Tone Cam or uh, sort of like a VVR lift or anything like that. It's just one minute you're there and the next moment you're like, whoops, there we go. It's got that linear power band, it doesn't go like, it's like, it's like, it's crazy. Uh, I drove in the M3 as a kid and it, it, like my actual heart went in my throat. Um, I've driven a 328i, amazing car, amazing power. And I've also driven a 328i convertible and I mean, it's, it's actually crazy. You've been driving, you don't even feel that you're in 180 and you don't feel the world outside you. That's how well these old cars are engineered. As far as favorite model goes, it would have to be the M3. I mean, you get two specs, you get a 2.8 which is lower power than the 3.2 and I mean the sound of this straight 6 is just crazy I mean a lot of people uh, sort of regard the E36 M3 to be the best M3 of all times and I don't see why not it's, it's just it's sublime to put it simply the craziest thing about the E36 as well is that it didn't look fast uh, in the sense of if you were to compare it to a normal um, BMW E36 sedan compared to M3, there wasn't anything that was like saying like, oh, this is a race car, but then when you get in it and you drive, it's like, wow, now we've got power. Let's go. Moving along to the early 2000s, we've got the launch of the E46 now. Here things became a lot more electronic. Um, we also saw the introduction of the first station wagon, E3 um, series in South Africa, as well as the first um, major diesel models. You've got the 320D and the 330D. Now, the E36 Dolphin shape did come in a diesel version, I think it was called the 325 TDS, but they were very, they weren't very common, and I mean, I haven't heard a lot of them really, so I just assume a couple of people bought them and then probably died or something like that, we don't know. Um, the favorite model in this car, I would have to say, we had a 320i and it was a nice smooth drive. Uh, favorite model in the E46 would have to be the M3, it's got that amazing sound, uh, it's lightweight, it's fast, it's the acceleration of the car is brutal, so yeah, 
it's, it's sort of like a hands down winner. There's no second place or anything here. It's got to be the M3. A lot of people also, it's, it's a split between the E36 M3 and the E46 M3, between, which is the greater out of the two. But those are two of the two crowd favorites. Yeah. So moving along to the E90, uh, this was launched in 2004 and ran all the way up to 2013. For the first time, BMW introduced um, individual sachet codes. So each sort of, you've got the sedan is the E90, you've got the station wagon was the E91. Coupe was E92, like the M3, and then the convertible was the E93. So, favorite in the E90 series would have to be E92. Uh, it's, it's not by a long shot, the E92 M3 is a beast. It's the first 3 series to be fitted with a 8 cylinder engine. Uh, close second would be the 335i, which is the first 6 cylinder turbo, or twin turbo BMW 3 series. and. I had the pleasure of driv driving um, a Nolan Naidu's one. That's one of the first videos we did here on Cape Rides, and wow, I think it go. I mean, it looks like a normal sort of family sedan, but it's a beast underneath that metal sheet. So the F30 and the G20 is the sixth and seventh um, generations, respectively. I can't really comment on them because I haven't seen them really uh, as in terms of experience. Them, I haven't driven in them. I haven't driven them, so I can't really say much about that. But Hopefully that will change in the future. Thanks for watching guys.